Guys, earlier this month, Valve released what is being called by some people the biggest patch in CSGO history. Now that we're a few weeks in and one LAN event, I'm here to tell you that it fucking sucks. So, here we are, a few days after Blast Pro Series Sao Paulo, the first LAN event following Valve's big change to the CSGO economy. Now, in case you've been living under a rock or just playing Apex Legends or something, here's the TLDR. Valve released a giant patch, it changed the AUG, it changed the M4A1S, a couple things in some maps, but the big thing you need to know is that the round loss bonus system, kind of the backbone of the CSGO economy, was fundamentally changed. As you guys know in CSGO, if you lose a round, you get some bonus cash to help you catch up. Now that hasn't changed. What has changed is that in the past, if you lost four, for example, and won a round, then lost the following round, you'd be reset economically, meaning your round loss bonus would reset to a big fat goose egg. That is no longer the case. What happens now is you lose four in a row, you win one, you lose the next one, you go down one rung on the round loss bonus ladder, not back down to zero, so you still have cash. Now, the round loss bonus system has more or less been set in stone since time immemorial as far as CSGO is concerned, the patch in October of last year notwithstanding. So you can understand why a lot of the community were losing their collective heads over this patch. Everybody and their mother released a YouTube video or wrote a big diatribe on Reddit about how it's either the best thing ever or the worst thing ever for CSGO. Really quickly, it went like this. If you thought it was bad, it was because it was a broken ass comeback mechanic. It punished teams apparently for winning and it was too easy on teams who were throwing. Now, if you're one of the ones who liked the patch, it went like this. It doesn't matter that the comeback mechanics are so much stronger because it just means there'll be more gun rounds in an average CSGO map and the better team will always win more gun rounds. So although the score line will be closer, the game's outcome won't actually change. Now that's all fine and good in theory, but we need to see how it plays out in practice. Now of course we had a few weeks of online action, including ECS and one game in particular where this new round loss bonus system had an effect. Vitality's money has been getting wrecked. Even though they've been winning so many rounds in a row, they've been losing lots of players. North have been doing lots of economic damage and they North have won one round and already Vitality can't really put together a full buy. Shoutouts to North for qualifying for ECS finals, but let's be honest here, the real test is LAN. Over the weekend, we had our first since the CSGO patch, that is Blast Pro Series Sao Paulo. So how did it turn out? Well, pretty much according to fucking plan. Alone, and down he goes. There you have it, folks. Astralis 16-2, an overpass victory in the most convincing of fashion. This tournament happened like it was written down in a script. The good teams won their games. The not so good teams lost their games. And not every score line was 16-14. You would presume that Valve made this round loss bonus change so that games could get closer together. More tight score lines, more gun rounds, more action, although I don't really know why that's necessary. But it actually didn't turn out to be the case. I've got a completely, entirely unscientific comparison for you. I took Blast Pro Series Sao Paulo and compared it to the last Blast Pro Series event, which was Lisbon. Now, there were almost the same teams in attendance. It was the same format, but it was not obviously on the new patch. I took the average round differential of each tournament and compared them. And you know what? Blast Pro Series Lisbon actually had closer games and closer score lines on average than Blast Pro Series Sao Paulo. So I'm left asking, what was the fucking point of this patch if games didn't get markedly closer and nothing really changed? Astralis is still the best, Liquid is still the second best by a really wide margin, and FaZe Clan still can't do anything, bless their souls. Before this, I feel like CSGO's meta was delicate. Valve would tweak a gun and like a very still pond, that small droplet would make big ripples. Lately, Valve has been dropping some big rocks into that very still pond. Was there a problem with CSGO before? Was it broken? Was it boring? Here's a conspiracy theory for you. This change comes about a year, at the very least 10 months, after a certain Danish team had been dominating the competitive scene with very lopsided scores in both grand finals of two majors. Hmm. 
even if this patch pans out the way Valve wants it to and games get closer, score lines get tighter, it won't matter for the best team in the world because they're the best at managing their economy, they're the best at managing your economy, and they're the best fucking team at gun rounds. So what's the point? On top of all of the things that are wrong with this patch already, even if that conspiracy theory is true, they fucked that up too. So while this economic change may be giving you a few more gray hairs in your matchmaking games, so far in pro play, it hasn't been the most impactful change. It hasn't even come close to having the impact that a lot of YouTubers, pundits, and the rest of us thought it might. But there's one thing I know almost for sure. The next biggest change in CSGO history is probably just around the corner. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.